Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing well. In today's video, I'm doing a fun, happy makeup look because I am getting a new puppy. So, but anyways, I am so excited to reveal the, the puppy's name throughout the video, so stay tuned to find out. But this makeup look is kind of a uh, getting ready type of makeup look for picking up my new puppy. So. We'll talk about it as we start the video, so let's get into it. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. That would mean the world to me. And now let's get started. So let me put my hair up. I am so excited because we are getting a new puppy and she is a mini Aussie Doodle. Now she is basically a half poodle and half Aussie Doodle and both of them are minis so it's a small to medium type of dog so let's get started I'm going to start with the L'Oreal True Lumi Glotion Primer I like this primer because it is so nice and dewy so I'm putting it on top of my high points of the face and then rubbing it in so I'm so excited today because of the new puppy that's coming over. So I'll post some pictures and I'll try include a video with the puppy as well. She is a Merle puppy, which means she has those nice dots on her fur. Oh, I'm so happy for you guys to meet her. Okay, now that this is set in, I'm gonna go with the Rare Beauty Foundation in the shade 170W. Now this, make sure that you shake really, really good. And then let's apply it. Has a nice Dofu applicator. I have a uh, review on my channel on this foundation, but as you can tell, I'm loving it. Now I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics number no. two brush. I've ordered some Moda brushes, so I'm excited to get those, but this is such a good brush for the foundation. I like to use this, and I like to use this by Sephora, another really good brush. So yeah, we're gonna do a fun look, a look that makes us happy, that makes me happy for getting a new puppy. So I'm really, really excited. I can't wait for you guys to see the pictures. So I'm excited to share with you guys. So I'll be posting this video obviously after we're picking her up because I want to make some video with her and add to this video as well so you guys can meet her. But yeah, this is a fun, happy makeup day. So once we did this, I'm gonna go into a um, damped sponge and kind of push everything in together. Okay, so now that the foundation is on, let's move into... I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Um, camo Concealer. It's a nice big doofu applicator as well. I'm kind of lighten this area up, so not much. Okay, I won't be putting on my eyelids because I'll be using my MAC for the eyelids. Now this is a nice hydrating concealer. I really love it. Okay, and now let's set this concealer. Laura Mercier Setting Powder, Translucent Setting Powder. I grab a bit and just put it there and let it sit under the eye so that it doesn't crease. Okay, now let's prime the eyes. Of course, I'm gonna use the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly and I'll be using this densed, small densed brush right here. It's from the drugstore, it doesn't really have a name or anything, so any brush would work, even your finger. So I like to apply with a brush first and then use my finger. So I will be using hmm, the Essence Matte Bronzing Powder in the shade Natural. So I'll be going into my nice unicorn fluffy brush and start top here on the cheekbone and bring it down. I love this bronzing powder. Can't stop using it. A little bit on the nose. Right now here where I'm from, Alberta, Canada, I see a lot of snow outside. We had like a mini snowstorm yesterday and the snow will continue. So winter already came here. I miss summer. We always seem to skip fall. It goes directly into like a snowstorm in October. 
So I hope where you're from, you're safe and you have nice weather, but today the sun is out. Okay, so that's on. Now let's apply, I'm gonna go into the Milani Rose Glow Stellar Light Highlighter, and this one right here. I'm gonna use my finger and apply some on the cheekbone. Oh, this is a really strong highlighter. It's pretty, pretty bright. Next, I wanna use the NYX Sweet Cheeks Glow blush in the shape citrine rose and i'm using an, another big fluffy brush this is the still spot essential brush it's like another um, drugstore brush it's very very intense for a nice suntan kissed natural look very beautiful okay now what I wanna do with the eyes is I'm gonna use the Mini Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette and I'm just gonna go into this transition color right here and I believe that's called Lumino. Now let me get a blending brush and apply this all over here in the crease and above just for transitioning. I want to bring it kind of down whatever is left on my brush and I'm going to use the same color and kind of use under the eye a bit so we can tie the eyes together here now I'm gonna go into this dark brown shade let me use a morphe brush and it's like fluffy but has more of a flat head Okay, so I'm gonna go into this one and kind of go in the outer corner and pack this out here. Just to darken this area up a bit. Whatever I've left on my brush, blend it into the crease. Okay, we're gonna get back to that eye. Let's do the same thing here. I'm excited because today I'm getting the cage it's like a sleeping area for the puppy so she's gonna have a bed for upstairs she's gonna have a cage with another bed downstairs where she can be trained to go to sleep overnight and have her own area to feel safe so i'm very very excited we are so happy to have her i can't wait for you guys to meet her okay now that's done now i want to go into this Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions palette and I want to play with this blue right here it's like a shimmery turquoise blue so I'm gonna use my finger for now and add this look at this in the inner corner here Ooh, very nice I'll do the same thing here then we're gonna wet a brush after and intensify this. Wow, I love it. So I'm gonna wet a brush now. Let me see which one. Another Morphe brush, which is like this flat head. I'm gonna spray it with some setting spray. I'm gonna go into the same shade and intensify this nice blue a little bit more. You see the difference? compared to this eye. Wow, I love that. Now let's intensify the dark brown and connect those two. So I'm gonna go back into the Natasha Denona. And make this much darker. I'm gonna use a clean, cleaner, fluffy brush. It's the Morphe M441 brush. Let's make sure that there's no color on it. It's just stained and kind of blend this together here. Wow, what do you guys think? I really love this combo. Okay, so now we're gonna do the bottom area and what I will do is I'm gonna go into this sapphire again right here. I'm gonna use this uh, BH Cosmetics uh, brush number 11. It's kind of pointy. So let me spray it a bit and I wanna use this in that blue and bring it all over the bottom lash line here. Maybe just halfway I will do the other half. 
I will do brown. So I'm going to do the same thing on this eye. I really like this color. Okay, and then with a, um, a very, very flat brush, and this is the Morphe brush, I'm going to go into that deep brown and kind of line the bottom area here. And we're going to bring a wing, 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 wing up like this. And connect it. Let's do the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing here, blend this together. It's kind of like a smoky brown teal eye look we're doing. Okay, Ooh, I love this look so much. I love these colors. They're so pretty. Okay, so let's bring this teal over underneath here. So I kind of did on the bottom what I did on the top, but I do want to intensify this area on the bottom here with more. I'm going to go into the Jeffree Star Morphe JS12 brush and I'm just going to dip into that brown and make this more intense down here, more smoky. This is a fun, happy look. So like I promised you guys, I said I'm going to reveal the name of the puppy. And we have decided to name her... Ooh, what could it be? Kona. So we're naming her Kona. Now Kona is a island in Hawaii that we've recently visited before COVID hit and we fell in love with that island. We had so much fun. So I really liked that name and this name really seemed to match her. So we're really excited to name her Kona. What do you guys think? Let me know down below what you guys think of the name. If you like it and uh, I hope you really uh, like the puppy once you see her she's just so adorable i think i'm gonna use this tart palette and i would like to dip into this silvery shimmery shade and just put it in the inner corner i want to see how that looks Ooh, i hope that doesn't ruin the look okay just a little bit of pop of more shine in there I like it. Okay, so I'm going into my Milani highlighter, this one right here, and I'm gonna use a little bit with the same Jeffree Star JS11 brush. Just add it under the brow bone to give it a nice highlighter look. And maybe use the same and add more in the inner corner to intensify that tart eyeshadow we just added there. Wow, I love this look. So let me blend this a tiny bit more so we don't have this sharp lines like that. We want the turquoise to blend nicely into the brown. Very, very beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to use this eyeliner right here and this is the Essence Long Lasting Liner. I'll show it to you guys. And it's in the shade Two, two turquoise and it's one of those twisting ones okay so I'm gonna use this in my waterline just to kind of give it another turquoise pop of color there very very nice okay so now I'm gonna go and put some mascara on Enjoy this nice intermission and I will be right back. So, welcome back. I went ahead and I used my favorite drugstore mascara and this is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Mascara in the shade Black. So, I really love it. I lined up my lips with the Huda Beauty lip contour bombshell eyeliner and it's this beautiful beautiful eyeliner you guys see it there you go 
So now I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick and this is, oh, the shade is Angora and it's this one right here, okay? I'm gonna do the lips in this color. It's like a nice brown mauve shade color. So we'll see how this looks on the lips. Ah, it's much darker. I love this color. It is so, so pretty. So there you have it. Let me take this off. Now, oh, one more thing I forgot is to set the face with the NYX setting spray. Set the face. Now make sure that you use your beauty sponge and you dab everything in. Perfect, look at this. So here is the final look. The final happy makeup look for picking up my new puppy. And I hope you really enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoy watching her in this video and some pictures of her. And let me know down below what you guys think of the name Kona we chose for her. I'm so excited to share this news with you guys. And what do you guys think of this look? Do you like it? Let me know down in the comments below. So thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. It will mean the world to me. And I will see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.